All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault.